other strong. We're not the same, we're different in a good way. Together is where we belong. to be experiencing this milestone over a screen, but the hardships brought to us by COVID-19 can take nothing away from the accomplishment that we've achieved. Instead of looking back on our senior year with sorrow for our opportunities missed, let us take this as a lesson to not take things for granted and most of all, perseverance. Even though we didn't have a traditional final year, we had some time off and I hope during that time that you thought of what it is you truly want in life. I know I did. Whether you decide to further your education by attending college, enlisting in the military, or just waiting to see what happens, we all have greater goals to reach in life than high school graduation. In your lives, I hope most that you all find happiness in your journeys. Now, take a look to your left and then to your right. You owe a tremendous thank you to the people who are sitting beside you watching this film. They're the ones who got you here. If you found yourself sitting alone, then I owe you a huge congratulations, because I certainly couldn't have done this by myself. Congratulations, class of 2020. We just graduated during a pandemic. We have all the bragging rights. While thinking about the toll that COVID-19 has taken on our graduation year, there are also many positive aspects to consider. This outbreak has given us as seniors an opportunity to discover ourselves one last time before taking one of the steps from childhood to adulthood. 
Although the pandemic has many Americans in a state of emergency, many high school seniors have been mourning the loss of the last things they never got to experience. There was certainly more to lose for us than there were many others in the country, although we have all kept in mind that many Americans are experiencing losses because of the pandemic. At the start of the pandemic, every high school senior had a decision to make. What should I do with my time now that my days are completely transformed? There are two different outcomes depending on what every one of us chose. A majority of us chose to optimize our time and work towards goals, making this outbreak a positive experience as I have seen in many of my peers. The support of many understanding staff and teachers of Eisenhower have not gone unnoticed by students, and we cherish that aid as we move forward with our accomplishments. I cannot speak for all of my classmates, but personally, the COVID outbreak has aided me in accomplishing goals that have already completely changed my life. We are unique because ultimately this pandemic has changed all of our lives in a permanent way. As I stand before you today, I am filled with a runoff of emotions. Excitement for what lies ahead of you. Empathy for understanding what a special circumstance was brought to you ending this school year the way that it did. Eagerness for you to step outside this building of educational excellence and achieve your life's aspirations. And I'm proud of you for everything you've achieved and all the hard work that will set the pace for the next several years of your life. I've always chased my dreams. It wasn't always easy. It wasn't always attainable. And from time to time, I failed. But I didn't get stuck in the mud or listen to the voices from whom cautioned me, this cannot be done. From my high school years and still today, I continue to always chase my dreams. To be a mentor, a teacher, a leader, and pushing students to look beyond their limitations and rise up and conquer their goals and ambitions. Some of you may say, this is the first day of the rest of my life. So as you trek forward from this distinguished moment in time, I hope you will be open to all the new possibilities that present themselves and you're going to have many of them. Every ending has a new beginning, and today starts your new. Find what works for you, what strikes passion deep inside you. Be impassioned. When you love what you do, others will seek you out. Your passion will fuel lifelong learning and pro project you in new directions. It gives you something in common with other people and fosters deep and lasting bonds. It gives you purpose. It doesn't just bring you happiness, it brings joy to others. You may choose to be a role model. You may lend a hand for someone in need. You may invent the, new, the next new machine or vaccine. Quite possibly, you may aspire to be the next president. It just doesn't matter. What matters is that you find your passion and you chase your dreams, and that you will have a great impact on yourself, your community, and our earth. When you chase your dreams, you'll find your passion and you will succeed. And here's a tip. It's never too late to start chasing your dreams. I want to thank the parents, your friends, your mentors, your loved ones along the way of the path of success. Those important people will have, you will have and will guide you through your journey of learning, of maturing, and of discovering. I would not be here without those important people who believed in me, and I'm sure you would agree that you would not be here today without those people's support, their guidance, and love. I also pause to thank our faculty and our staff, our administrators, and our board leaders for their unflagging work that helped provide a solid foundation you needed these past years to springboard you into your future. I would also like to close with the famous words of Michelle Obama. Don't ever underestimate the importance you can have, because history has shown us that courage can be contagious and hope can take a life of its own. So please remember to get up, get out there, show up, and chase your dreams. Thank you all very much, and congratulations to the very special class of 2020. It is now my honor to introduce our salutatorian, Mr. Michael Abadie. Michael is the son of James IV and Christina Abadie of Sugar Grove, Pennsylvania. 
Michael will be attending Mercyhurst University for Forensic Sciences. Please join me in welcoming our 2020 salutatorian, Mr. Michael Abbey. A bowl cut, neon green jacket, khakis that are way too short, boxers practically blooming from my waist, black and green sneakers, and such a potent social anxiety, you can probably grab it. That was my first day at Eisenhower and my first day of high school. I had previously spent several years in cyber school, so contact with anyone besides my family was kept to a minimal. Not to mention the change in scenery from skyscrapers and subways um, to cows really helped me feel out of place. Thus, my initial goal was to get everything done as quickly as possible so I can get home and play video games. So there I sat in my desk, arms folded over my face to shield myself from any potential high schooler but yearning to give a tiny boy such as myself a good swirly. But it was not the sound of toilet water that caught my attention. It was the relentless laughter of two girls sitting next to me. I directed my focus to their conversation and found myself laughing hysterically as well. They took notice of this. Hey, what are you laughing at? This is it. I'm done for. Good thing I can hold my breath for a long time. What's your name? Michael. I'm Ashley, and this is Zoe. They included me in their conversations every day from then on. I was even asked to join their group of projects for history and such. I made more and more friends, listened to so many conversations from so many unique people, and learned so much from everyone. Slowly but surely, the arms across my face sank to my sides. I cherish these hallways, being able to interact with so many lives and educate myself so freely. <laughs> I did not cherish the smell from the fields on the way to this facility, however. I was told I would get used to it, but I have been lied to. I broke free from my shell and flourished through the years, joining sports like track. I will especially miss cross country. Those members and coaches took me in without hesitation, and the experiences I've had with those people will be remembered for years to come. Once I settled in on a friend group who I absolutely adore, it was time for me to plan for my future. Science has always been my favorite subject. Luckily, the teachers in the science department may be my favorite people ever. Mrs. Swanson has the kindest heart <laughs> to those willing to expand their knowledge. I was captivated by her passion on the material being presented. I will not rest until I achieve the same passion. And Mrs. Deech, AKA my school mom, helped push me through every obstacle. She was kind enough to include me in her advanced classes, even though I had not completely finished her prerequisites, since she saw my potential. And she stood by my side the whole way through the AP class. You have to receive my greatest thanks for your patience, for others, and your ability to ease many others' heads. I do thank in each and every one of the teachers I have had for making my high school experience so spectacular. And thank you to Mrs. Walter for the library naps. And thank you for my parents for at least taking a look at my homework assignments before walking away in disgust when I was stumped. Don't get me wrong, my parents have supported me all my life. My first day of school, when I came out, and now. I actually remember coming home from school every day and giving my mom the rundown of events that happened in each period throughout the day. I'm aware it's hard for many students, but I treasured every day in these halls, and I will miss it here dearly. However, I know there is so much more for all to come for these seniors in the future. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Eisenhower, and best wishes for class of 2020. It is now my honor to introduce our Vail Victorian, Miss Madison Wallen. Madison is the daughter of Matthew and Tracy Wallen of Russell, Pennsylvania. Madison will be attending Penn State Barron University in the fall for a degree in biology. Please welcome me in joining our class of 2020, Vail Victorian, Miss Madison Wallen. Well, we knew this milestone would come, but of course none of us expected such a unique ending. I never imagined I would be standing here speaking to a camera instead of looking across a gymnasium filled with my classmates, wonderful teachers, and family. But nonetheless, here we are. Now, given I am not in much of a position to give any valuable life advice, I just want us to reflect on all we have accomplished up until this point and all we have yet to do. After all, Webster's Dictionary Define success as a favorable or desired outcome. With that said, there is no true definition of human success. 
I think it is more evident to myself and a lot of us in these last few months that every career is a respectable career. Whether you live a lifetime operating on brain tumors or live it cashing people out at Walmart, your efforts are substantial. Just as I stand before you on whatever screen you are watching this from, with all these decorations around my neck, none of this truly accounts for anything. Do these make me honorable enough to give a speech? I guess so. Does it make me any better than my fellow classmates? Heck no. These cords and this medal are symbols of what I strive for these past few years. But let me tell you that this is not the spitting image of success. Success is what you desire and what you strive for. For me, I spent these last four years stressing over playing the GPA game. For those of you that valued time with your friends instead, I applaud you. To those of you that chose to work an extra shift instead of finishing your essay, I'm out of respect right there for you. We must have the ability to admire other's success without doubting your own. Because all in all, grades and accomplishments in high school mean very little from here on out to anyone but ourselves. We all start from scratch now. We all leave Eisenhower chasing our own ambitions and striving for our own success in life. So, as I go into my final words, I just want to take time to say a few thank yous. Thank you to the loving staff at Eisenhower for being there for us over these past few years, and thank you to my own parents and grandparents for dealing with me through all these stressful nights. As for the class of 2020, remember to respect others, to respect yourself, and strive for success. Thank you. It is now my honor to introduce our class of 2020 historian, Miss Caroline Smelko, the daughter of Michael and Barbara Smelko of Russell, Pennsylvania. Caroline plans to attend Penn State University as a biochemistry major in the fall. Please welcome me in joining our class of 2020 historian, Miss Caroline Smelko. Good afternoon. I would like to thank you all for plugging in this DVD in celebration of Eisenhower High School's class of 2020. I believe I speak for all of us graduates when I say we've all spent the better part of the last 12 years patiently waiting for this day, our graduation day. However, no one would have thought we'd be watching this ceremony as a video on a screen in our homes and not together in this gymnasium. With that being said, there's still a lot more to say about our class. We were not dealt the best hand this year. I mean, seriously, we're graduating in the middle of a global pandemic. What are the odds of that happening? It's safe to say this year has been anything but ordinary. However, we're still here. We're still graduating. We've made it this far, and there's no limit on how much farther we can go. This monumental day is filled with so many emotions. Pride, nostalgia, joy, fear, sadness, relief, anxiety, and excitement. As we receive our diplomas and head into our futures, we also look to our pasts and how it shaped us into the people we are today. The hard work, dedication, perseverance, patience, and even sacrifices that filled our high school careers and have helped bring us all to this day. I would like to take this time to give proper thank yous where they are needed most. To the Eisenhower staff, thank you for working endlessly to ensure a clean and safe learning environment and for helping in every situation asked of you. And to the cafeteria staff, thank you for nourishing our bodies, which helped us to nourish our minds. You are all greatly appreciated. To Mrs. Ulm and all the administrative staff, Thank you for giving us a school that we can be proud of, a school filled with spirit, and a school that allowed us to flourish while instilling us with the foundation we need to take this next step in our lives. To our amazing teachers, thank you for teaching us valuable lessons so we can use in and out of the classroom. You've put in countless hours to get us to this point, and I know it could not have been easy. But you have helped shape us into the people we are today and have pushed us to our fullest potential. And for that, I am forever grateful. To my family, Thank you for all the constant love, support, and encouragement in everything I do. If it were not for you, I wouldn't be where I am today. You have given me all the necessary tools to follow my dreams and pursue my passions, and have taught me to have courage and strive for excellence. I don't think I could ever thank you enough for that. And lastly, to my fellow graduates, thank you for giving me some of the best four years of my life. Whether we knew each other as just a friendly face in the hallway, played or competed together, sat across from each other in a classroom, or spent almost every minute together, I know I will never forget all the memories made within the walls of Eisenhower High School. So I am truly thankful for all the times we've shared, the good and the bad. Eleanor Roosevelt once said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So, class of 2020, I encourage you to go out and chase your dreams. Never stop chasing until those dreams become your reality. It has truly been a pleasure and an honor to have known and grown with all of you. 
I wish you all the best of luck with your future endeavors. There's nothing you can't accomplish. Michael Abadie. Garrett Abbott. Nathaniel Acklin. Thomas Barron. Andrew Fairfield. Morgan Blows. Joshua Bortz. Patricia Bortz. Dakota Chase Kyle Coons Alexis Courtney Lily Darling Sierra Dart Megan Downs Mercedes Dreyer Jacoby Drum Alex Durante Lindsay Finch Rachel Frederick Morgan Janung
y en Tofue. Cassandra Gorley. Jesse Gorley. Madison Green. Logan Green. Ashley Hall. Hope Heffright. Peyton Heffright. Healing. Curry Holtman. Logan Jaquay. Nicholas Jones. Daniel Kerr. Michelle Kingsley. Megan Corselman. Shelby Kuzminski. Jared Martone. Allison Meinweiser. Madison Moni Miranda Mong Jalen Moore. Chloe Mueller.
Sarah Nugent. Taylor Passenger. Hunter Peterson. Zoe Reynolds. Alexander Roberts. Morgan Saunders. Noah Schwartz. J.D. Shaw. Caroline Smelko. Destiny Snook. Paul Thomas. Caitlin Thompson. Ayla Valone. Brianna Vanderhoof. Madison Wallen. Allie Watkins. Emily Wheeler. Aubrey Younger.
afternoon, evening, whenever you decide to watch this. Today I am both honored and excited to represent Eisenhower's class of 2020 and the co-president of Eisenhower's 2020 National Honor Society. I'm gonna start by addressing a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting us through these tougher times with the coronavirus outbreak. Whether it was just a message, a present, or even just or the yard signs, the yard signs are awesome. <laughs> we thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I want to address the fact that we are all aware of not only high school seniors going through this, but also college seniors and graduate students who have been affected. So I would just like to thank, give a big thank you to my community for your love and support. Now on to the, the good stuff. <laughs> my high school experience was generally pretty average, though this ending is not what any of us expected. High school was where I found out where I was strong and where I was weak. A lot of these opportunities came from my honors and AP classes. The four pillars of the National Honor Society are scholarship, leadership, character, and service and they are so obvious in the class of 2020. Everyone shows their own talent and perseverance, and I'm so honored to represent each and every one of you. Not everyone was in the National Honor Society, but the loyalty and pride brought to the table means just as much, and I am very proud to say that in front of everyone's parents and student. Unfortunately, I might not be able to ever say this in person to any of you, but every tear shed, every smile, every pencil broken, and our studied was worth it. I'm asking each of you to remind yourself that you made it. You made it this far, and there's nowhere else to go but up. And it's on to the next chapter. So no bad juju from high school needs to go with you. That is one thing that needs to be said. Any problematic relationships that you have with anyone, it's not worth it anymore. This is where we move on and this is where we grow. No matter what you choose to go on with, this is where most of your future started and everyone needs to be reminded of that. High school wasn't the best for everyone, but it gave us the opportunities to learn and grow from what we did know and what we didn't. So, class of 2020, I ask that you take this day and maybe every day after this, depending on what you're feeling, to just remember what we did here and why we did it. Thank you for showing me your versions of the pillars and teaching me more than I thought I could know. And good luck, class of 2020, and stay classy. Mm -hmm.